Hi, in this tutorial we will schedule a job and learn how to manage it using the work with scheduled jobs program on the web client. Starting with tools release 9 to 26, you can create, manage and monitor scheduled jobs using the web client without needing to use the development client. The work with scheduled jobs program P91300W is the web version that provides the same functionalities as the Windows development client version. The work with scheduler server program P91301W enables you to add scheduler servers and manage server and port number combinations. In this tutorial, you will learn how to schedule a job using the web version of the job scheduler application and perform these functions included in tools release 9226. Before scheduling a job, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will begin with creating a version of Webify Scheduler P91300W for the IST time zone. Sign in to Enterprise One and access the Work with Interactive Versions form. Find P91300W. Next, let's add a new version. On the Add Interactive Application Version form, add the version as IST and version title as Indian Standard Time and save it. Set the processing options for the new version that we created. On the display tab, set the view local and local time zone values. Set the daylight saving adjustment to 0 for IST. Set up other processing options according to your needs. Set the value for allow scheduled job to be skipped at startup of scheduler service to 1. Save the changes. Let us add a job schedule using the web client. Enter P91300WIST to access the web version of the work with scheduled jobs form for the Indian Standard Time time zone. Now add a job schedule. On the schedule information revisions form, enter the name. Specify the report that the scheduler submits to the server and the version of the report that should be used. Specify the next date on which the scheduler submits the scheduled job to the server for processing. The scheduler is multi-foundation and multi-port. In the scheduler logical server field, select the logical data source of the server where the scheduler kernel should submit the job. Select the allow job to be skipped on startup checkbox to skip missed instances of the job. This means that if the job has been deactivated for a while or if the server has been deactivated, when the scheduler restarts, it only runs the most recent of the previous job instances and skips the others and moves on to the upcoming scheduled jobs. The skipped jobs are moved to status 31, 33. Select Recurrence from the form menu and set the start date and frequency of the schedule. We will set the schedule to run the job every weekday and also set the number of occurrences. In the Scheduling Advanced Options screen, if required, you can schedule for a different user than the user you are currently logged in as. Select the Update checkbox to simultaneously update all passwords for this user in the scheduler table. The password will be updated for all jobs that this user runs. You can set the advanced options for job expiration, job resubmission. You can also set the batch application overrides but it is recommended to keep the defaults. Now save the changes to schedule the job. Find the job that we created in the work with schedule jobs form. In the job details pane view the scheduled jobs. You can review and edit the job header recurrence and resubmission details of the job. To rename the job, first set the status of the job to inactive from the row menu and then rename the job.
Rename it to specify that it is a weekday job and save the changes. The job status changes to 3. Rename job processing. The UBA is run and when it completes the renaming of the job, the job status is set back to 2 not active. The job name is updated for all the scheduled job instances. The job is renamed in the F91300, F91310, F91320 and F91330 tables. Now reset the job status back to active. When the job is inactive, you can also use the delete option in the row menu to delete the job without running the maintenance report. You can copy the job and create a new job schedule with the same time and occurrence information. On the work with schedule jobs form, select the job and then select copy from the row menu. On the revisions form, enter the scheduled job name and revise the job schedule as required. You can also modify other characteristics of the job such as the scheduler batch application as desired. Save the changes. Select schedule servers from the work with schedule jobs form. You can view all the server and port number combinations on the work with scheduler server control form P91301W. The multi-foundation scheduler kernel allows to have multiple servers on the same port and multiple instances of ports on the same machine. Search for all the server and port number combinations. To start a server, select the server and then select start scheduler. To stop server, select the server and then select stop scheduler. Add a new server in the server control revisions form. Enter the scheduler server name and port number details and save the changes. You can manually change the status of the scheduled job to hold a scheduled job instance for later by changing its status to 50 that is hold or back to status 1 or 2 from status 50. These advanced job schedule statuses added in tools release 9226 help in improving the performance of the scheduler kernel. To learn more about the job scheduler, visit us online at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.